few weeks ago, Adcock Ingram OTC launched Sponsors of Brave, a campaign in sharing and celebrating the stories of healthcare professionals and pharmacists who've gone above and beyond the day-to-day -day call of duty. Never before has praising these incredible healthcare professionals been more important. Today we meet Dr. John Mitchell, who's going the extra mile for his communities in the rugged landscape near Mkanduli and Coffee Bay in the Eastern Cape. Welcome to The Loft, Doctor. Thank you very much. Congratulations on being nominated for the great work in the healthcare profession through Sponsors of Brave. How does it feel? Oh, it feels really great. Um, uh, the first feeling I have is that I'm really humbled. I'm really humbled. I, I know that there are there's many other doctors and uh, healthcare workers that I think could be actually far more deserving than me. Mm. Um, but at the same time, I'm also very honored and grateful that, uh, that, that I, I was nominated and the kind words that so many people have shared. So yes, um, I'm humbled, but also very honored. Speaking about the kind words that people have shared about you, we've got this amazing heartfelt video from Sponsors of Brave. Let's take a look. So it's a Monday morning and I'm on my way to work. The roads are closed due to protest. There's no other way to get there. This is all the medication. What I saw in John that day is the level of empathy. It showed the kind of a person he is. He's kind, selfless, and he always has plans to, to solve problems. We are a very isolated rural community. Often we have patients not coming to hospital or making the appointments because the rivers had been in flood. John came in the morning and he was like, I'm going to the clinic. <laughs> The roads were blocked off and there's only one road coming into Zitulile. So he decided he can't just let those people go without medication. We have a lot of outlying clinics that we serve as a hospital with a lot of medication that they don't otherwise have, some of which are ARVs for HIV. He packed all the meds. I think he was going to see 120 or more patients on that day. So I'm here at the river, right in the wall. Uh, that's the last leg of the trip. The river crossing in a Our core venue is prioritizing patient care. He just did that. He decided to swim across the river. Patients spend a lot of time and effort in sticking with medication and making the appointment dates. For me, it was really trying to do my best to meet them. That was Ubuntu in Kosa. The nurse called me and they were so excited. It's like an angel has fell into our clinic and we have the medicine. He is involved in community programs like the NGOs that are around. They support the hospital quite a lot. They work with early childhood development. And then there's two gap year programs. People who finished grade 12 and who dropped out at grade 11, we show them the other way of living. Let's rise in Osa, it's called Masi Pagamini. It's to give them hope for their future again. They learn a whole lot of soft skills, practical skills. It's helping me to know myself better. I was struggling a lot with anger. They teach me how to forgive. <laughs> Obviously, he is so brave. That was the, the clear act of bravery, hiking to the clinic with that load of medicines. My motivation is to see people grow, to see people improve. I try my best to help and add where I can. Wow, Dr. Mitchell, that's truly amazing. Now, you're in quite a rural coastal community in the Eastern Cape. What brought you there? Well, I grew up in the Eastern Cape. Uh, my parents lived in the small town called uh, Idujwa, which is not too far from here where I am now. Uh, so when I was growing up, I grew with the learning, learning Kosa, I learned a bit of Kosa, and I also learned uh, a love for the Kosa community, the Kosa people. Um, Subsequent to that, I went and studied, and I, I studied in Pretoria, I worked a bit. Um, when I had the opportunity for community service, though, uh, I was able to come back to the Eastern Cape, um, to where I am now, to the hospital, Zitulele Hospital. So I started here in 2017, and I've been here since then. Yeah, it's that staying power that the community loves so much. Now, what does it mean to you to be able to provide healthcare for the community? And what does it mean for them? Well, South Africa is a beautiful country, um, but it's also a country of 
great disparity sometimes and and far too often it's a country of inequality i'm daily reminded of the the privilege i have as being taken into confidence and and trust of people that i don't even know complete strangers who um trust us as doctors with their um, their concerns and their worries yeah and that, and that even as, as coming from a completely different cultural background you know as, as an umlungu as they would say <laughs> but uh but yeah i i really appreciate being able to be a part of the the solution even though it's in a small way but mm. the, the solution in in bringing south africa together mm. to some way so today is a very uh, rural deep rural community as you as you may have gathered and uh, there's many things that otherwise are taken for granted so healthcare which is a basic human right is very difficult to access from many of the parts of our wider flank community people travel for very long distances over the rugged terrain you refer to and often pay lots and lots of their money just to to access healthcare so yeah in, in terms of our hospital we really strive to to provide the best quality healthcare that we can to to the patients that um get to our clinics or to our hospitals mm. and yeah we meet them halfway where they have gone to great efforts and lengths to to access the care yeah dr mitchell health care is just one way of making a difference but you're involved in quite a few ngos and upliftment projects in the community tell us about that and why you are so passionate about this Yes, well, uh, Zitulili has become a bit of a hub for um, quite a few NGOs and, and partners. Basically, a lot of uh, groups of people that are, are like-minded in working towards a common goal of basically building up our nation and its people. Um, and I, I love people, so I've really enjoyed getting involved in, and um, plugged into some of these different NGOs in the community that are already here. Um, but I mean, mainly I've enjoyed the opportunity to build relationships and connect with people. Uh, some of the beautiful inspiring young men and women here in this community mm. of being here now for just over 3 and a half years it's been it's been great and i've gotten to be able to connect with quite a few people mm. who who are from around here thank you so much for that and you know all the best to you and the mkanduli community because the work only starts now as we keep celebrating all people in the healthcare professional and all the best to you dr john as you're nominated as one of the sponsors of brave Thank you so very much. I really appreciate this opportunity. Thank you again, Dr. Mitchell. Now remember, you can also join in this incredible campaign by nominating the pharmacist, healthcare professional or worker in your community, making a real difference, especially during COVID-19. And you can stand a chance to win 5,000 Rand. Two healthcare winners will be selected from your nominations, one chosen by a judging panel and the other through your votes. The two healthcare professionals that are selected will win a trip to an overseas medical conference of their choice and be given the opportunity to pay it forward by donating 25 5,000 Rand to their favorite charity. Visit afternoonexpress.co.za for information on how you can nominate the healthcare professionals doing incredible things in your community today. The curve we don't want to flatten is the heartbeat of our beloved South Africa. Be brave. Unprecedented challenges call for incredible bravery. Countless doctors, nurses and pharmacists are working around the clock to keep us safe. They go beyond the call of duty and selflessly put the needs of our communities first. Nominate the brave healthcare professionals on the front line and give them the recognition they deserve. Because the only curve we don't want to flatten is the heartbeat of our beloved South Africa.